I feel like I'm the only one that is pissed off about this whole timeline issue with Dragon Ball Super Broly. Um, I haven't really seen too many people talking about it. They've just been talking about, oh, this movie's great. It had some great animation. The new character designs are amazing. And both of those things are true. The action scenes were well done, except they moved a little bit too fast at times. Some of the CG didn't really fit in with the traditional 2D style animation. But I can look past that. This timeline shit, though, is what really bothers me, right? So, it starts us off 41 years in the past. It says so right in the movie, right? You see Vegeta as a baby, play as a baby. Um, whatever, right? Moves forward five years to when Goku's a baby. So, we know this is happening in age 737, because in Toriyama's official timeline, it says that that is when the events of Dragon Ball Minus take place. So Goku, even though he does not look like a baby, <laughs> is apparently a baby. Um, so then, this is where stuff really starts getting messed up. Because if you're trying to tell me that Dragon Ball Super Broly takes place 36 years after the destruction of Planet Vegeta, you are full of shit. There is no fucking way that is possible, okay? I, As soon as I saw that, I was doing the math in my head, like, over and over and over and over and over again for, like, the first half of the movie. And I was like, this, this it does not make sense. It does not add up. I don't know why no one saw this. This is a huge, glaring error. Um, and I'm going to go through the timeline right now. So, 12 years after Goku was born is when the events of Dragon Ball take place. Um, then, after, you know, the Pilaf, Pilaf Saga, Goku and Krillin train with Master Roshi for... And this is a plot hole in the official timeline. They train with Master Roshi for seven, eight months. And then Goku enters the World Martial Arts Tournament. He departs again to collect the Dragon Balls, even though they should not be active after only like eight months, uh, but let's just say another year passes, right? So Goku is now 13 years old. Um, so then that happens. The next World Martial Arts Tournament takes place three years afterwards. Goku's now 16. You know, whatever. Then the next World Martial Arts Tournament takes place three years after that. Goku's now 19, okay? Then Dragon Ball Z takes place about five years after the end of Dragon Ball. So Goku is now 24. A year takes place between him dying and the Saiyans arriving. So Goku is now 25, even though he's been dead. Whatever, right? We're just trying to keep track here. Um, stuff on Planet Namek happens. About a year goes by as they're using the Namekian Dragon Balls to resurrect everyone. And then about another year goes by after that and future Trunks arrives, right? So two years total, let's just say, roughly. Goku's now 26 years old. Then three years pass between that and when androids 19 and 20 arrive. So Goku's now 29. We're already getting dangerously close considering there is a seven year time gap between the end of the Cell games and the beginning of Majin Buu. So at this point, Goku is now 36 years old which would be the time gap between when he was born and the events of Dragon Ball Super, according to the timeline, Dragon Ball Super Broly. Sorry, according to the timeline that the movie itself provided to us, right? But it doesn't stop there, because we know, because the events at, of End of Z take place 10 years after they defeat Boo, and Goku, uh, Pan is about four or five years old. So that means, Battle of Gods has to take place four years after they defeat Boo, which means Goku's like 40. Resurrection F takes place about a year after that, which would mean Goku's now 41. And then at some point in the sort of filler-ish stuff in Super, they use the Dragon Balls to cure an illness that Pan has, which means another year must go by, right? So... Who's now 42? 
And they use the Dragon Balls again in this, which would, I assume, mean another year goes by, which means Goku's like 43. So this timeline is about six, seven years off the mark. This timeline that the movie provided us with, that is not acceptable by my standards, all right? I know it is just a cartoon, but it's a cartoon that has traditionally at least made sense with the way that things play out. And this just completely fucks everything up, this movie. And that bothered me a lot. The other thing that really bothered me about this movie is that Goku and Vegeta are able to fuse even though they are not the same height. I don't know if Vegeta's hair is long enough to make him the same height as Goku. I don't know if that counts. It was never really specified. But they are obviously... Like, Vegeta is much shorter than Goku. So the fact that they didn't even address that really bothered the shit out of me. Especially because there was already um, an example of two people with dissimilar heights fusing in the uh, Yamcha side story manga, right? Bulma invented these, like, wrist watches that could just make people of any size fuse. And I was like, oh, okay, if they're fusing, they'll probably just incorporate that into this movie, right? Toriyama's already taken some sort of filler, fan-made sort of shit and made it canon. It makes sense. But no, they just do the fusion dance, and I don't know why they didn't attempt to find some Potara earrings, because they wasted at least an hour of time trying to perfect this fusion dance, which seems like a very dangerous idea considering the circumstances that they were in. So, I... I don't know. I really don't know how to feel about this movie. Um, I feel like I'm definitely in the minority here, although it might just be like a vocal minority that praises the movie and several other people have these glaring issues with it. But I don't think that's the case because a lot of my friends who saw the movie ended up loving it. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I just know way more about Dragon Ball than I should. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.